pals and non-binary pals, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be playing The Crooked Man. Um, I saw this game through another YouTuber and I didn't watch the playthrough. I was going to, but then I decided this game looked interesting from like the first like two minutes and I was like, I want to go into this blind. So I decided to buy it and I'm really excited to play this. I think it's going to be super interesting. Uh, I think it's a short game, although I'm honestly not sure. So I'm looking forward to this and I hope you are too. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty. No? Okay, keyboard. Okay. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content, so refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules on the offer site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No repurposing resources, except author's illustrations. No redistribution of game files, except for translations. Do not cut the end credits from the videos of the game. Check the offer site for more information. Acknowledge that the offer takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software. That's a little spooky, but all right. But I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> enter, 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 enter. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Paul. Phew, finally, things are looking tidy in here. Marion. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? David. Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. Okay, so there's three characters. Oh, this is so cute. The pixelations. I, I love this. I love 2D art style. I used to hate it as a kid, but now I'm like, I just think it's the cutest thing. I love this. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. Same, Paul. Same, I relate. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. So do I just use... Yeah, I do. Okay. There's a large crack in the wall. Cupboards. A refrigerator. A stove. A sink. TV, a phone, a box of tissues, an empty trash can. And then we got the clock over there, so what's this? Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. You got Paul's license. This is so cute so far. Are they sure this is a horror game? David? David just go, hmm? I don't think he's going, hmm. He's probably just, hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so giggly today. Okay. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? You want to move for a change of pace and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? Not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? 
Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Controls? I know how to use them, yes. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Charlie? I must admit, it's so awkward to read out loud. I feel like my voice acting is, it's mid, it's mid at best. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Okay, David, whatever drowns a goat. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Oh man, the gla- the gl the bubba. The glare on my glasses is really bad tonight. Damn. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Alright. There's a large crack in the wall. That hasn't changed. Okay. Oh, I have other rooms. Nice. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Yes. Who was it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Wow, talk about rude, David. Damn. Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved in 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Er, uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Talk about yikes. Damn, David, just waking someone up from their sleep? That's rude. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I better get back to sleep. I should apologize later. Nothing to do on the first floor. Okay, so exploring leads me nowhere. No reason to go out. Damn it, I wanted to check the other room. I couldn't remember which one was mine. Drawers, nothing in them. Not many clothes inside. An empty trash can, bookshelf hardly has any books, coat hanger, let's check the box, washing machine, because I hear water running. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. Nope. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about in bad taste. This is... Mm -mm. Don't wanna go.
Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm? Found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. Whatever choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Hmm. <laughs> sus. Very sus. <laughs> That sound still? Where is that coming from? <laughs> Give me a break. I need to sleep. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean. Just I'm, I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Damn it. No, I can't stand you. I know you're there. This is ridiculous. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Why, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime? You look- you like apple pie, don't you? I was gonna say you look like apple pie. So sweet like apple pie pie. Okay, no, I need to stop. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom? I'm not Timmy. I'm your son. David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should go buy from there. Mom. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him! Now! I feel like I'm reading to a child. Uh <laughs> Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. 
You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Oh, poor David. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom! Your flight school's exams are, your flight your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me. Remember? Mom. David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my I said leave. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Oh. Poor David. Oh, she must have dementia. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes. She's forgotten many things and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Oh, maybe she just has amnesia. Oh, that made me sad. What was that? <laughs> Why did that scare me? I jumped at pushing the shower curtain away. <laughs> okay. Oh, the chair's chair moved. That was weird. I thought the game glitched for a second there. Maybe I'm so supposed to go apologize? Oh, no, never mind. Do I just interact with the chair? Bookshelf, it hardly has any books. I got nothing. Okay, then what am I supposed to do? Am I missing something? Am I dumb? Oh, because the chair moved. So what's happening? Did 
David Hover, HP 100, save, system, title, save, do I just lay in bed? Do I just chill? Cell phone, lighter, license, notebook scrap. That chair totally moved, so what, what, what does one do? I am so confused. I feel like I've attempted everything. Do I check the crack in the wall? I feel like I need to get to the trash can, but how? What are the okay, keyboard controls? Enter, cancel, subkey, L shift, C. Oh, that took forever. So I just had to. <gasps> oh, My God. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Did I move that chair? No, sir. Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. 
Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? I'll check that mirror again. Nothing. Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, we got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. You shouldn't tell someone's number without their permission. That's not okay. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Oh, Jesus, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. That scared me. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Yeah. Check the sink. What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? This sink? A sink. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... <laughs> Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And what kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Okay, no. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh, bub bub bub. I'm too jumpy for life. Ugh, okay. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Yeah, that startled me too, David. I don't know why, but it did. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee's spilling out? You gotta be. This room it is really, really strange. With its voices, and TVs turned on. What is this? Uh, hi, Paul? It's David. 
yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, dunno. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Well, I think I'm gonna leave that episode here for today. And next time when we play the Crooked Man, we'll make sure to check out what the landlady has to say. So I hope you're excited to start this new series. I sure am. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>